Well, it's December 1st, and here in Chicago it's supposed to be 42 degrees for a high today, so I figured I would get out just a little bit before the sun comes up too high. And it looks like I did make it. It's right at zero, 32 degrees exactly. So I just slid in under the wire. So now got to see if the bike will start. And if it does, I'll be on my way for the first ride. Well, my first ride this year. I guess we already have, I see Crazy D already posted. So I'll get the bike started. And we'll go out for at least a three minute ride. If it starts, hopefully. Okay, beginning mileage My speedometer actually froze up and I think my last two rides I didn't get any credit for mileage but they still let me count them as rides and it looks like at least for today the speedometer is working. For those of you that are newer to the Polar Bear Challenge, I'll tell you just a little quick synopsis of the history. This will just be a, a quick general history of it. It started with the idea from Mike Haley 7, Mike, saying that he wished more people, especially that are in the U.S. and in the northern part of the U.S., would keep posting videos during the winter time. They usually just shut down and post little or nothing but people need a reason to do that so he thought of the idea of cold weather rides and then I contacted him from there and said I think I have some ideas for setting it up if you'd be interested and we cooperated on the ideas worked together and we got kind of like a real simplified plan the first year because really we were not really sure if it was uh, going to be that popular if people were really going to like it a lot so we didn't even really know in fact, I, I wasn't really even sure myself if even the first year we'd get enough interest in it, but it did generate, uh, I think, probably close to 30 people that actually said they were interested, and uh, about half of them, uh, a little more than half of them, actually actively participated. So I was really happy with that for the first year. <laughs> Helmet's fogging up a little bit here. And since that, it's had a steady growth. Last year was the second year, this will be the third year. And now we're well over 70 members at the site, and if at least half of them will be somewhat active, uh, I would consider that a gigantic success again. I'm just going to turn around the Walmart parking lot here. It's interesting along the way uh, a lot of things that I thought weren't really going to be that popular ended up being pretty popular. Mike himself came up with a, a point system. It was uh, quite a bit more complicated than the one we're using right now. I'd say it's uh, we're going more with the one that Loud Pipes did but it's not really that much different from the basic idea that Mike came up with on the first year which we didn't even use at all. And I noticed a lot of the ideas that I thought would be really great ideas didn't really quite work out. So it's just kind of uh, taking on a life of its own as, to, as far as uh, the members will let you know what's, what's popular, what they like, what they don't really care for. We tried the idea last year of maybe a cub challenge with uh, just as a trial run, not really as anything serious, but just to see if it would generate interest and it really didn't seem to have very much popularity at all and the vast majority of people just said yeah just go ahead and drop it which we did
and the points category just had such universal approval last year as a trial run as an unofficial thing that that's basically the main focus this year is the the point system where maybe you can't make a polar bear run of a 20 30 miles or more at a time but if you can drive maybe less than 10 miles but in very very cold weather you can maybe under the point system still get quite a bit of credit for that and maybe even keep up with somebody that can knock off more miles and it's not like we're doing away with the categories either they'll still be for those people that are interested there'll still be a list of the categories so and this year I'm the one keeping track of the stats although I will have to say don't come to me if there's any problems you have go to Navy Thomas first because he's the only one that can really make a call I can change anything around once he tells me but basically I'm letting him make the calls on it so I'm not going to overstep my bounds it's basically I'm just the one taking care of the stats about the only judging I will do is he asked me to judge his ride so he's not judging his own but he's about the only one I can make any calls on so if you do have any problem with anything you think there's any kind of mistakes or something anybody overlooked or something or if you look on the Google Doc that I'll be posting for the stats page and uh, you see something you don't agree with, contact him about it, and then uh, he'll make the call, and then if he says change it, I'll change it. If he says leave it, I'll leave it. Okay, ending mileage. Yeah. <sighs> ending mileage, 39537.9. 39537.9